Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. And on this channel, we share all kinds of yummy food and family fun. So today's video is going to be a two-day vlog. I haven't shared a day in the life video in a while, so I thought I'd share this with you. We had a whole bunch of fun and we made a delicious new pizza that you have to try. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and let's get to it. So first off, I'm making some pizza dough. We're gonna have some pizza for dinner on this night and we made a new pizza and it was fantastic. So this is the usual pizza dough recipe that Adam makes. I'll put that down in the description box below. Usually this recipe makes like two medium, almost large pizzas, but we doubled it and let it rise twice and then this makes three pizzas. Just had a sneeze attack good morning guys so I know this is an awful angle but this is what I can do so I have a ton to do today I don't know how much of it I'm gonna get done we got up late and yeah we are ready for summer and I can't wait till summer is here so today we are gonna make pizza and go take it over to Adam's brother's house and have dinner with them and so I just got pizza dough made. Hopefully it turns out good. Usually Adam makes that, but I'm gonna get ready. The boys are doing school. <clears throat> when they're done, I need to head to town to get stuff to make the pizza. And hopefully I can let that dough sit there while I'm gone. If not, Adam's gonna have to grab stuff on his way home. I don't know, he hasn't texted me back yet, but I need to go get stuff for the pizza and a couple other things. I need a few pots for my a couple, I need to go to Dollar Tree to get a couple of pots for some herb seeds that I have that I haven't planted yet. Our garden's doing pretty good. I'll go show you that in just a little bit. Um, I just picked a big zucchini. The boys thought it was cool. So I decided we're going to make a couple different kinds of pizzas, but I want to make a Thai chicken pizza with some zucchini on it and use that up. And it's going to be good. So I have to get a couple of things, but... I just cut my hair and my bangs are not trained again yet. I used to have bangs like this all the time, but since COVID started, I haven't gotten my hair cut by anyone. I've been cutting it myself and I've never been brave enough to cut them. And now I did and it wasn't that hard. So at least now I know how to do that, but I need to get ready. But yeah, I figured I could sit here and talk to you guys for a little bit. I know I haven't been on here much, but like spring and then the end of the school year is always super busy because school. Tucker's birthday is coming up. We just had Adam's 40th birthday. I cannot believe when I met Adam, he was 21 or 22. It's been a long time. Lots of beers. So Mother's Day is in a couple of days. I got a gift for Sherry that I need to go get some wrapping paper for. And other than that, we're just kind of trying to get done with school and get everything done because we are ready for summer. It is already super hot. It was like 92 yesterday, I think. 
I went out and planted some more bean seeds. Because my dad gave us a bunch of dirt that he had. And we filled up our old fire pit with dirt. And I planted all my little cantaloupe seedlings in there. And a bunch of bean seeds. And I'm going to make some kind of little teepee thing once they start growing. If they start growing. Dad says that dirt isn't good. His stuff isn't growing well. And his stuff usually does. So I guess we'll just see what happens. But yeah. We are just getting the day-to-day -day stuff done. And getting through and getting ready for summer. Um, I need to clean out the fridge today. Like I said, I have a ton to do. I have a ton of laundry to fold, and then I have a new quilt and sheets I need to wash that Adam got for me for Mother's Day so that I can put them on the bed, but I don't know if I'm going to have time for that today. So we'll just see what happens. Can you see me yet? This one. Stand up straight. Look how tall he is. Not my baby anymore. Well, you're still my baby. But you're a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> go finish your work. Do your best. I get as much done as I can before I need to leave to go to the store. So I need to get a couple of things from Dollar Tree. And then I need to go to HEB. To get stuff for dinner. And then we'll come home. Make pizza. And go hang out with our neighbors. Our Adam's brother and his family. Um, I have two airplanes that I need to get off the roof. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Tucker has those foam planes that shoot out of a gun. Where's the other one? He's getting tall too. Like you can't see him though. Stand on your tiptoes. <laughs> but he has two airplanes that you shoot and they fly. Stop. No, the pinky one. <laughs> And yesterday they were playing with them and one end, or no, two ended up on the roof. So they're on the back porch roof and I gotta figure out how to get those down. I'm thinking the leaf blower or something, but I need to clean out the fridge. I have a whole list of stuff to do and I don't know if I'm gonna get too much of it, but I'm gonna try. So anyway, I just thought, I know I've been doing a lot of what's for dinner videos and y'all have been really enjoying them. They've been doing pretty well. But honestly, lately I haven't recorded a dang thing. So, so yeah, in order of priority, we got to get school done. And that way I can get all of their stuff recorded, written down, get their report cards done. They need to go out and play. Um, Tucker's riding a scooter in the house. And Angus likes to chase him and act like... A crazy dog. I don't know if you can hear him. So yeah, my house is a giant mess. Wally, what are you doing? I mean, look at my bed. Goodness. You do Wally, Wally, Wally. I love you. I love you. Do I get hugs? Do I get hugs? Oh, thank you. I get hugs from the Wally, Wally. That's my baby. That's my baby boy. He gives me hugs all the time. Yeah. So yeah, the house is a wreck. And I'm kind of not caring because I'm just trying to get through school and all the stuff so we can get done. And I have my pizza dough rising and all that. But yeah, I need to get cleaned up. This was Adam's birthday stuff. I still haven't taken it down. It's been like a week. But he said just leave it up for Tucker's birthday because it's coming up soon. <laughs> yeah, it is. By the way, we'll show you what we're doing at our cousin's house later. Maybe. We'll show you what we make to eat. They're making pizza. We're making pizza. Probably won't even have salad or anything. We'll just have another junk food night. And they live 10 miles away. 10 miles, huh? More like 10 feet. <laughs> but yeah, so my pizza dough is rising, hopefully. Yay, it is. Okay. I didn't mess it up. So I'm going to get to getting some stuff done around here. I know I just blabbed your ear off for a very long time, but... We're going to get some stuff done, get some school done, do the most we can before we have to go to town. And then we'll bring you along with us, maybe. I don't know if you can see them, but there are two planes. Nope, I see one. Did one fall down? Yay! So there's one plane. 
up on the roof. We just need a little more wind. We got one back. Hi, Wally Wally. So here's how the garden is doing. The zucchini plants are huge. I don't know what happened. This was standing up yesterday. I guess it got too heavy. I might have to hold it up with something. I don't know. But I picked one zucchini off that plant over there. There's one here and it's getting big. Look how big it is. And there's one there. These I actually grew from seeds and I can't believe how big they are. Cucumbers I grew from seeds and they're getting big. There's a lot of flowers down in there, but I did see some bees in here doing their job. So we'll see if we get any cucumbers soon. Oh, there's a baby one. Hopefully that got pollinated. I haven't seen many female flowers, so we'll just have to wait and see. This is a tomatillo plant, and it's had tons of flowers on it this whole time, but I don't see any tomatillos yet. This is a jalapeno. We got one off of it already, and there's some more blooming on there. These are my sugar snap peas, and they're starting to grow things. See, here's one right here. But I don't know what got to them, because they look like lace. Something ate them. And these were new ones, and they're not doing that great. These never do that great when I grow them. I don't know. Um, compared to, like, these are pinto beans and northern beans. All these ones in the middle, I just threw some beans in the... Like, I didn't even sprout them in cups or anything. And they are almost as big as the other ones already. So these are doing really good. I don't know what to do about the other ones. But yeah, something got to these too. And I don't know what. But this is Tucker's pepper plant. He hasn't gotten a pepper yet, and he's not happy about it. Garrett's has... A bunch on it these are supposed to be red so they're not ready yet these are some I grew from seeds so we'll see how they do put a bunch of wildflowers in here hoping it would attract bees but there's no flowers yet I guess that's what happens when you grow stuff from seeds but over here we have a ton of tomatoes but no tomatoes yet I've got like five different kinds they're all different sizes this one I grew from a seed. It's doing pretty good. There's another little one hiding back there. I have some diatomaceous earth all thrown in here because they're, I don't know what's being eaten. Or I mean, I don't know what's eating things. This was a marigold plant and something got it. Same with that. I have some basil growing right there. So yeah, it's not doing too bad. Plants are big. It's got flowers on it. We just need some tomatoes. Okay, so we just got done at HUB. Y'all are in a weird spot again because I don't have my tripod hooked on the dash and it's too hot anyway, it'd probably fall off. So we just got done at HUB and Dollar Tree. I didn't really record anything because I was trying to hurry. So now we're headed home. Tucker's in the back, but you can't see him. Garrett jumped in the truck with Adam. So we're gonna meet them at home and make some pizza and go hang out with Adam's brother and all of our nieces and nephews. And luckily, my sister-in-law had an extra booster seat because when we were about to leave the house, I realized Garrett's booster, he's still not tall enough to sit for that one, was in the truck from the other day. We were all in the truck and I forgot to get it, but she had an extra, so we're going to go home and start making some pizza. What's in here? Butter. That's it. That's it. Butter and sesame oil. Chicken. Chopping up chicken. Gonna add some ginger. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and garlic onion. Call it a day. Salt. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I'm 
poison sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, so Adam made my crust thin crust. And then for the sauce, we're gonna use this sweet chili sauce and then add on some red onions, zucchini, green onions, cilantro, and carrots, and that chicken that Adam made, and some mozzarella and Munster cheese. Okay, so update on that pizza. We also made a cheese and a pepperoni, by the way, but that Thai chicken pizza was so good. I ate three huge pieces of it. I ate too much of it, but it's like all veggies, so that's okay. Uh, one of my nieces really loved it, and she ate a ton of it, too, so there's just a few pieces left, but it was so good. I'm going to eat that for lunch tomorrow, but yeah, if you like, if you've ever had Papa Murphy's Thai chicken pizza or... Where else is it that has one? I think the California Pizza Kitchen, but I've never had that one. But if you've had it from P Papa Murphy's, I've had that like a decade ago. I can't remember. I remember liking it. So I can't tell you if it's just like it, but it was really, really good. And yeah, I'll definitely be making that again. I could have eaten like half of that pizza. It was delicious. But anyway, we're hanging out next door. I just came home to check on the dogs and all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> definitely try that pizza if you like weird pizza. Weird. Not normal pepperoni cheese. You know what I mean. So anyway, I got a little bit of dishes to clean up probably and I'm just going to go hang out with family and have some fun for the night until the boys have to go to bed. And Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little different and 
a lot of blab in my mouth, but you know what? I haven't seen you guys in a while and you keep asking what we're up to, so now you know. <laughs> so the next day we headed on a little mini road trip to a small airport and they were having their annual fly-in. This was so much fun. I don't know why we've never gone to this before, but Garrett was studying planes and science anyway, and I found out this was going on, and so it was perfect. So we headed on a little homeschool field trip. The boys had so much fun. So they had all these planes and helicopters fly in, and they're landing and taking off the whole time you're there. You could go and look up close at all of the planes that were parked there. They had fire trucks, they had helicopters, they had like life flight. And there were even helicopter rides for $25, I think, but the boys refused to go. But yeah, next year, maybe we'll go on a helicopter ride. It's pretty cool, huh? Like he's coming in here. Here, back up this way. I think this was my favorite part. The boys got to go sit in this cool old plane and the pilot helped them in and out and it was just so cool. I should have gotten up there and gotten in it just to get a video or a picture, but I didn't. But maybe next time.
And this next part had to be the highlight of it all. They had a helicopter drop candy for all the kids and it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a blast at this i wish adam had gotten to go but he had to work but i had so much fun with the boys and we're going to keep an eye out for other things like this this was free by the way so super cool but yeah check out your local airports and see if they do anything like this for kids because this was so cool back home from the fly-in that was so super cool the boys had so much fun they got to sit in planes and helicopters and we got to watch them take off and land and they did the candy drop from the helicopter that was so cool but yeah we were there for a couple of hours and then we had to go to HEB to get some stuff for dinner and yeah we had a ton of fun I think I got a little bit sunburnt even though I put sunscreen on yeah, it was a blast. We're definitely going again next year. They do it every year, and it's free unless you want to ride in a helicopter, which the boys said absolutely not, but <laughs> it was $25 if you wanted to ride in a helicopter, and then for $300, you could ride in this, I think, was it a World War II plane? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe next year we'll go and ride in a helicopter. What do you think? Haven't you had enough junk? No. That's it. Last thing. So yeah, I'm going to get all this mess cleaned up. I haven't cleaned up anything today, and I'm a mess, and we're just going to have some leftover pizza for dinner, and I got a stuff, I got stuff for a big salad, so we're going to have salads and pizza, and we might head to church tonight. I don't know. I'm tired. My knee hurts from walking around in a field for two hours, and I'll see how Adam feels when he gets home. He's been having back trouble, so... Anyway, we had an awesome time today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this two-day vlog. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. I'm hoping to be able to do more vlogs and stuff like this. It's almost summer, and hopefully we'll be doing a lot more fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. For a beautiful day, it rains, the rain falls.